<laughs> Susie, you know, I've been thinking. I wonder what about? We've made so many cool houses for our fluffy friends. They can live there, eat tasty things, and even swim. Yes, I remember these crafts. It was so much fun to make them, and our pets enjoyed them so much. So I've been thinking, it's not fair. I'm sure that our turtles could also want to live in a spacious house with a garden and a pond, too. Okay, I can take that hint. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes! <laughs> How can we leave our turtles without a fun house? Hi, guys! Today we decided to give a great present to our turtles! That's why we're gonna build a mini house with a pond! I wouldn't mind having such a house for myself! We've got a lot of work to do, not only building walls but also making many pieces of furniture and decor. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I know what we should do. The main thing is sharing responsibilities. Let me guess. I'll do everything and you'll give me advice. Am I right? Everybody knows I'm always ready to help. Come on, ask me anything you need. <laughs> okay, could you bring me a brush? Oh, I think I know what you're going to do. Feel free to explain. You need to apply some resin inside the pool, so when it sets, we can pour water in it! That's how you do it! Yes, our turtles like swimming, so we'll give them this opportunity! Yeah, what can be better than chilling near the pond on a hot summer day? Stop daydreaming, Sammy! We still haven't agreed on responsibilities, remember? Oh, I almost forgot! It's just so hypnotizing to watch you work! That's a good excuse, Sammy! I hope you weren't going to leave the walls like this. Of course not. Yay! I think we should make colorful, bright walls. I really like this striped design. The more colors, the better, right? Sue, have you ever seen this trick? Huh? Voila! Well, how do you like it? That was awesome, Sammy! But I'm not surprised, because I can do the same! See? Guys, don't forget to hide the edges, otherwise they won't suit our impressive design! Impressive design? Does it mean you figured it out already? Of course, Sammy! I have a plan! Let's start with the living room! We're gonna make a couch first! It's gonna be so soft and comfortable! Sammy, do you want to add something? about a coffee table. They will make a perfect set with your couch! It's a really great idea! Huh? And one more. There! I like working as a team! It means twice as many great ideas! Guys, be very careful with the glue gun. It can burn you. And this little guy goes here. A bit of craft magic won't hurt. Huh? Lovely! Sue, I'm not criticizing or anything, but why don't we add a little action? until they get even cooler! I think I know what you mean. Whoa. Ooh, okay. It looks so great! What do you think, guys? Give us a thumbs up if you agree! This blue color looks so good on pink! Let's place our couch right here! The coffee table is ready! It's my masterpiece! What do you say, Sue? Wow, Sammy, you did great! But first, we'll put a carpet here so that the table legs won't ruin the floor. And now, decorations! You did that all by yourself! No, no, no! You can take care of other things for our little living room! Now you're talking! You've got a lot of space, so set your imagination free! While Sammy is busy, I'll deal with the books, of course! This will look good here as well! You're so fast! I barely had time to finish my part! I'm so lucky to have you! Well, it's my job, Sue! To be near and to help you when it's needed! All we have to do is set things right! <laughs> Actually, you inspired me, Sammy! So I decided to add something else here! Hey! It's as if it's always been here! 
And more plants! Our turtle loves greenery! Wow! How cool is that? Sue, it seems to me we forgot about the bedroom! Where will our turtle sleep? Don't panic, Sammy! Everything is thought through! Our little buddies won't have to live without a comfortable place to have a rest! I thought it should be a bit isolated, so I decided to place it on the second floor! Now let's assemble the bed! Here comes the headboard! I want our turtles to feel comfortable! And a very soft and thick mattress! It looks like a real princess bed! We should make it in a proper way then! That's right, Sammy! Whoa! Any Disney princess could use a bed like this! I hope you didn't hide a pea under the mattress! <laughs> I was too busy, Sue! Making this! Let me see… Oh, I like this bedside table! But let's make two of them so that each turtle has its own place to store things! We'll place the first one here… And the second one goes here! I want to try something, too! Wow! Did you notice the difference? I see at least four new things! You've always been very attentive, Sammy! I heard that pets resemble their owners, and since Sam and I… Are very creative, our turtles should also have this! And we're getting to the most interesting part! We'll make the swings! Yay! It's pretty easy, just watch me! First, we need to glue soft pillows. And then we'll add more comfortable details. Oh, this looks cute already! Let's add a bright backrest too, it suits our style! It happened again! I got tangled! Every time, Sammy! Whoa! I can't get it myself! And I don't see anything funny in that! Anyway, you've got tangled just in time! Cause this lace is just what I needed! Huh? Can't wait to see the final result! Me too, Sammy! Don't worry, we're almost there! Well, let's take these beams… And attach them here… And to the other side… Now we'll add a few on top… Ba -ba -da -ba! And the last touch! Beautiful sparkly chains! Huh? Here comes another one! Wow, it looks so great that I want to swing along with the turtles! Be patient, just one more step! It's gonna be so beautiful and cozy! Just look at this! Sue, isn't it too high for the turtles? They won't be able to climb onto the platform! That's why I've prepared this colorful step! Remember I told you about the last step? Well, here it is! <laughs> Let's add more flowers and greenery in the garden before our turtles come! That's right! Guys, the base of our turtle ration is greenery! So we'll need a lot of different flowers! Here we go! And the very final touch! Here comes the water! Ooh. Let's get a closer look at the house! So we did a great job! We sure did, Sammy! <laughs> Later. Besides, Milky looks quite happy about this new house! You're right, Sue! We did great anyway! Do you like it, buddy? I bet he does, Sammy! Wait, Milky! That's not food! Oh! <laughs> we should have placed some treats for him, Sue! Right! I didn't think about that! Well, we'll fix it next time, I guess. Go on, buddy! <laughs> well, I bet Milky still like this house! Oh, yeah! 
Why don't we show him the second floor? Is it time to go to bed already, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, buddy. Oh, no! He's going keen on the decor! <laughs> oh, no, Milky! Don't break it! That's art, you know! Don't worry, Sammy. It's gonna be all right. We can fix that. Oh, he's so sweet, that little hamster. Guys, if you like this craft, give us a thumbs up and hit that bell button. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Done. Hmm, let's see what else I should do before leaving. Susie, what's up? I bet you're looking forward to your trip with Roger. Why do you have Cookie's leash? Hi, Sammy. I just dropped Cookie off at the dog hotel. They'll take care of her there while we're gone. What? And who will take care of me? I think you can handle it. I built the fridge, did the laundry. But what about my treasure? Who will guard this? Actually, I've got another thing on my list. Make a craft, and I think I know what it'll be. Let's go. Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make a cardboard dog that can guard your savings. Wow, Sue! Does it mean this dog will bark or something? No, Sammy. It will just serve as a piggy bank. Or you can call it a doggy bank. Sue, can I give the doggy a name? Sure, Sammy. It's your loyal guard. In the meantime, we'll take the templates that I've already cut out and bend across these lines. We'll do it carefully and firm, and our next step will be easy to make. Sammy, can you please help me and finish the other pieces? Easy peasy, shoe. And we'll connect all the seams and form the head. Use a hot glue gun. Be careful working with it. One can easily get burned. I just finished this, shoe. You need it now, don't ya? You're always on time. Guys, did you know that a dog's sense of smell is at least 40 times better than ours? Some of them are so good that they can even sniff out our medical problems. Even COVID-19. Isn't that amazing? Huh. So maybe we should call our little dog Sniffer. Maybe. Dogs' noses are designed that way so they can breathe freely and sniff at the same time, unlike people. <laughs> All right. Sue, I made this piece for you all thinking of a name for our dog. Here, take this. Don't worry, Sammy. You still have time to come up with a proper name. We'll apply some glue carefully. It's easy, guys. We just need to connect these parts using hot glue. And here we go. Let's turn the head around and connect these sides. Uh, what about Frank? Let's call this dog Frank. <laughs> I think I know what inspired you. Isn't that the adorable alien pug from Men in Black? By the way, guys, we're going to glue the neck now. Here we go. Yeah, that bug wore a suit and liked to sing. I mean, how cool is that, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, Sammy. I wish our cookie could sing too. Anyway, that dog and its name are really cool. But why should you repeat when you can create? But it's a super agent's name, Sue. Okay, Sammy, I agree. It's amazing, but I'm also sure you can figure out something special. Here's the ear you asked for. Uh, speaking of a special name, maybe Milo? Isn't that the energetic, cheerful Jack Russell Terrier from the Mask movie? Wow, Sue, it seems like you've seen all the movies in the world. I'm just very attentive because I like dogs. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like them too. Did you know that the fastest breed of dog is a greyhound? They can reach a running speed of 72 kilometers per hour within just a few seconds. So what? Did you know that a cheetah can get up to almost 110 kilometers per hour? Oh, I'm gonna call my dog Cheetah! Yes, but a cheetah can keep the speed for only 30 seconds. A greyhound can for 11 kilometers. Oh, you're missing something, buddy. Up, ah, now we're talking. Looks great, huh? I think something else is missing. Oh, I know. Voila! The next step is the front legs. These two pieces look like butterfly wings. Up, ah, great. Susie, what if I try to make hind legs? I think you can do it even with your eyes closed. It's so great to make something with friends. In the end, you'll get not only a great mood, but an awesome craft, too. That's true, Sue. The process becomes easier and more fun. I love doing crafts with you. 
I like little tricks. What about you guys? Give it thumbs up if you do. Does it look familiar? These are the future legs of our dog. Oh, I can't wait to see the result. Huh. So what are those paw prints? <laughs> Check out the paws I made while you were inspecting the table. Wow, it's so cool, Sue! What about your part? Did you manage to finish the legs? Did you come up with a name? I hope you didn't forget all about that. <laughs> um, Sammy? Sammy, do this! Sammy, do that! What would you do without Sammy, huh? I can't even think about it. I'm lucky to have you always by my side. Let's move to the second leg. Uh, Susie, I just finished with my part. Can you please help me? It's so big, I can't bring it myself. It'll be easier together. Of course, Sammy, in a little while. By the way, did you know that cat people and dog people are very different? But what do they have in common? All of them love their pets. Give a thumbs up if you love your pets, too. By the way, great job, Sammy! Let's connect the parts together and get the body. Susie! But how will the coins get inside? I've got that covered. See? This slit will let the coins in. I made it in advance. So then how will we get the coins out of our doggy bank? <laughs> You'll see. I just wanted to start that part. We need to make a box where the coins will fall and be stored. It's easy. We'll just glue all the pieces together to make a container. Carefully apply some glue here… And connect these two edges of the piece. By the way, guys, did you know that dogs can feel your state of mind? So if you're sad or stressed, they'll try to comfort you. Okay, now we'll close the box this way. Nutella! Uh, I mean… So let's call the dog Nutella! Now you decided to go over your favorite sweets? Aw, uh, come on, Sue! <laughs> You'll find your inspiration. Let's make a tube-like box through which our coins will fall out. And yay! But I don't want all the coins to lie down there. That's why I want to make a special partition. We'll need two frames for that. Put them right here. And what are these for? Oh, thanks! These pieces will prevent the coins from getting stuck in the corners. I don't want Sammy to be worried that his coins can get lost somewhere inside the doggy bank. And it's ready! It looks like we forgot about this piece. What do we do now? Don't worry, Sammy. It's gonna be a tail. Every dog wags its tail. Our friend is not an exception. Oh, it will also serve as a lid. Huh. It's time to assemble the doggy bank! Let's go! We need to put the cardboard container inside. Wow, Sue, you're doing great! Keep the pace! I can't wait to see the result! Our next step is our tail lid. This is delicate work, guys. Be careful. And it goes right here. <laughs> Sue, what is this thingy? Did you lose it by any chance? Yes! Thank you very much! That's our partition! Let's place it in the gap between the two containers. Now we need to secure it somehow. These rubber bands are the best solution. Be careful, Sue! Don't break anything! Here, everything's set, Sammy. Guys, it's time to put the head onto its place. Carefully, carefully… Yes! Sue, this is the back, am I right? Yes, it will hide the mechanism inside. Great. The only step left is decoration! Did you say decoration? Yep. I know you're a master at it, so I want to suggest that we work together. We need to paint our doggy bank so it will look more realistic. I'll take the muzzle, the chest, and the front legs. The rest is on you. I'm in, Sue! Let's get started! I want to paint the ears and the nose with black paint. Sammy, did you manage to choose a name in the end? Uh-huh. Hmm. Yes, I have one idea. I think you're gonna like it. Oh, I can't wait to hear the name of our little friend. Now let's paint the legs. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. I need some rest. <laughs> 
I want to add the shades to make the fur look much more realistic. Oh, now I want to have another dog. They're so smart and cute, and they're always happy to see you and ready to join you in any adventure. Phew, it sounds like you only love dogs, but what about our hamster, spider, and cat? Oh no, Sammy, I love them all equally. Animals are absolutely amazing. Guys, do you know the book The Little Prince written by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry? There's a famous quote from it. You are responsible forever for what you have tamed. Here comes the final touches and done! Sammy, are you ready? Of course, Sue! Great! Let's take a closer look at our cutie. Sammy, are you ready to test our doggy bank? I was born ready! Then let's insert the coins! Two… And… Three. Now let's try to take the coins out! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, by the way, Sammy, what name did you choose? Our doggy bank will be named DIY! Wow! Do you like it, guys? If yes, give a thumbs up and hit the bell button not to miss our next video! Don't forget to subscribe if you want us to do new crafts! Bye-bye! Open up! Uh, come on! Sammy, what's going on here? Sue, so, do you remember how Iron Man summoned his armor? Uh-huh. And? Well, I decided to do the same, but this one turned out to be a planned suitcase! <laughs> Sammy, why would we have armor at home? Tony Stark first made it and then called on it to help. Made it. <gasps> this is it! We have to make some super armor! Right now! Hmm, this could be interesting. Actually, this suitcase gave me a terrific idea. Let's go. Hi, guys. Sam and I decided that today is the perfect day for another superhero craft. Yes! We'll make my personal armor! Where do we start, Susie? Or should I say Jarvis? <laughs> ah, am I Jarvis today? <laughs> well then, thank you, Mr. Sammy Stark. And to answer your question, we'll start our craft today with the decorative part. What? But I am the main decor master here! <laughs> I wasn't prepared to start that early! That's okay, Sammy. Take another piece of red colored paper and follow my lead. We're drawing lines to make the armor look tougher. Phew, you definitely need a steady hand for that. <laughs> okay, Susie, I made my piece too. What's next? Now we need silver colored paper to make our armor shine. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, we need to glue it to the base. Great. Now we'll glue one more strip right here. This way. And draw a few more decorative elements with a marker. There we go. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> Sue, I've been reading. Did you know that Jarvis stands for Just a Rather Very Intelligent System? That's an interesting fact, Sammy. Guys, we're done here. Uh, 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 check out what I've got! Do we glue this to the cardboard? Well, we could do that, but… We're making armor that can transform into a suitcase, remember? Ah, guys, did you see that? We spent so much time and effort drawing those pieces, and she just cuts them! <laughs> Sammy, wait till you see this! Hop! <laughs> By the way, guys, be very careful with the scissors. And now she's cutting it to pieces! Ah. Sammy, get yourself together and bring me the double-sided tape. In the meantime, we'll glue these two pieces together. All right. Then we'll attach two little magnets. Uh, I had them somewhere. Hmm, here. Okay. Put it right here. Make sure that you sink them into the pieces well, guys. Here comes the duct tape! Whoa! 
Gotcha! Holy cannoli! What a stressful job I have! <laughs> oh, Sammy. Guys, this is where the tape goes. Carefully… And this is one more piece on the chest of our armor. We made it just like we made the previous ones. Voila! Awesome, right? We hit the tape under the paper-based pieces. Ah! Now I get it! You used the duct tape to make these parts of armor able to fold! Cool! <laughs> we'll be doing pretty much the same thing with almost all the pieces of our craft. By the way, thanks to those magnets, our craft will keep its shape. No matter whether it looks like an armor or a suitcase. <laughs> be careful with the hot glue, guys. Ask an adult to help you here. All right. There we go. Now, press a little. Good. Check out how it moves. Pretty awesome, huh? This is awesome, Sue! I'm dying to see what's next. You too, guys. Then quick, give us a thumbs up. We'll be back in a second. Remember these pieces of our armor, guys? Check out how they look now. We cut them like this. And now we'll keep turning these into the parts of the suitcase as well. This way. Great. <laughs> How is it going so far, Susie? Whoa! Sammy, have you been working out? You look pretty out of breath. <laughs> there we go. Uh, did you mean I look breathtaking? <laughs> Ooh, that was tough. I just learned that there's another Iron Man out there. Really? I don't know anything about that. Keep talking. <laughs> this is what they call the World Championship in Triathlon, which is held annually in Hawaii. I see. Now check this out. Each of these pieces has a little magnet, and all the pieces are connected by duct tape. Okay, now we'll need to do the same procedure with all of these pieces, like this. Sammy. Tell us more about your preparation for becoming a world-class Iron Man. <laughs> Gladly! So, the competition itself consists of three disciplines. Running, biking, and swimming. This is actually the part I'm going to train for right now! <laughs> Ooh, sounds tough. Guys, now we can gradually start assembling our armor slash suitcase. We need to glue these two pieces first. Uh, swim practice in our bathtub was not my greatest idea! Oh, really? Why? What happened, Sammy? Uh, the bathtub is too short. I did about ten laps and my head started spinning. Uh. <laughs> Sammy. Guys, this is what you should get. Yeah, Sue, are we going to finish soon? Actually, you're kind of just about on time. I could really use your help right now. I'm gonna need another piece just like this one. You see? There we go. This is how we'll be able to fold it. Okay, everything looks pretty neat. Now this little piece goes right here. Perfect. Ahem, ahem. All done, Susie. <gasps> You're so quick. That was too easy for a master like me. <laughs> now I'll show you what the body of our craft will look like. We won't need glue now. And here it comes. It looks kind of like a puzzle, right? Okay, this part was pretty simple. <laughs> Here comes our t-shirt-like pieces. Let's glue them to the cardboard strip we decorated beforehand. The best part here, guys, is that you can draw those lines on the color paper however you'd like. There are no strict rules in creativity. Cool! What a deep thought, Sammy. I like it. Hey, Sue! Look how tall I've become! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Careful, Sammy! But you're right. These are going to be the legs for our armor. Just a tiny bit of hot glue. There we go. Guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it so far. Stay tuned. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> I like how it's coming out. Guys, we're finally at the finish line here. Check out these rollers that we made by simply rolling cardboard strips. <laughs> these are going to be the joints. We'll attach them this way. An important thing here is that the rollers are wide enough not to fall out from these legs. It looks like you nailed it, Susan! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. By the way, speaking of which, we're gonna use tiny nails like this to make our construction steady. Hop, 
There we go. Always be careful working with sharp tools, guys. Do it under adult supervision only. Safety comes first. Here comes one more nail. And done! This is how our craft should look at this stage. By the way, Sammy, could you bring me… Looking for something, Susie? Construction master Sam made these for you! <laughs> how did you know? Oh, wow! These looks like the perfect shoulder joints. But this way they're going to look even better. <gasps> I got it, Sue! If we were in Tony Stark's universe right now, both of us could be Pepper Potts! Ain't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind that at all. But how did you figure that out? Well, she's just as brilliant and brave as Tony and I. But she acts more adult, just like you. <laughs> well, I guess there is a point in your words, Sammy. <laughs> and also she's very pretty, don't you think? <laughs> oh, Sammy. Okay, guys, we need two more cardboard rollers for the hands. Here's where we go into place them. Just follow my lead and be careful. All right. So one roller goes here. And the other one goes to the opposite side. We're almost done. <laughs> Good. Don't forget about Iron Man's legendary helmet mask. Sue, I've already made this for you as a reference. Oh, really? Let me see. Not bad. But why don't we make it more three-dimensional? Yeah, now we're talking. To make this armor more realistic, let's insert bright diodes into the eye holes and the chest part. Guys, you can ask an adult to help you with the wires. You'll need to connect them to the battery in order to make our diodes work. The soldering iron is not a toy, you know. And we're done here. By the way, guys, we've put a magnet inside the head part. We'll need it to hold a suitcase handle. It also has a magnet inside. Check it out! Come on, Sue! Here's the last piece! Put it in its place, quick! Soon our craft will be completed! Sammy, I can see that you're very excited to see this armor. There it goes. Carefully. Great. <laughs> so, guys, are you ready to see something breathtaking? Then follow me! Well, Sammy, are you happy with the suitcase? Are you kidding, Sue? It's awesome! Guys, I hope you like this craft as much as I do! Isn't it epic? <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you agree! Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Bye-bye! <laughs>